Good evening, I'm Allison Harris. Scott and Vicki Behenna appeared before the Army Clemency and Parole Board in Arlington, Virginia yesterday. The couple told the board their son is no threat and that he was suffering extreme stress when he shot the Iraqi. The Army Parole Board will make a recommendation to the Deputy Assistant Secretary to decide if Behenna's sentence will be reduced. And now let's take our first look at the weather forecast. Michael's story has gained a lot of support from across the country. OU Knightley's Greg Goldberg reports on a recent motorcycle rally held to raise awareness of his case and others like it. Good evening and welcome. I'm Allison Harris. There's breaking news right outside our door this Friday, October 22nd. According to eyewitness reports, a hit and run driver smashed two cars, then jumped the curb and fled. The accident happened at about 315 at Lindsay and Asp. Two vehicles were damaged. Norman police are investigating. A high speed chase pursuit by the Fort Sill Military Police ended in a fatal crash yesterday evening. Police were chasing 46 year old Jeffrey G Dean Shepard when he was killed in a collision with a tractor trailer rig on Interstate 44. Troopers say Shepard was driving west in the eastbound lanes when he lost control of his car. Police have not said why they were trying to stop him. Donations to the Jesus House in Oklahoma City fell to nearly nothing when a report claimed the charity's director, along with five other employees, received almost $97,000 in personal loans from donations. The board of directors for the organization voted to cut director Janice Mercer's salary by 55%. Mercer's salary will drop from about $177,000 to $80,000. And in Tulsa, Mayor Dewey Bartlett removed the interim tag from the police chief's job title today. The new police chief, Chuck Jordan, is charged with restoring the public's trust in the Tulsa police force. Jordan says he plans to rid the police department of corruption. Eight current or former police officers have been indicted in an ongoing federal probe. And leaders of the world's top economies wrapped up the G20 summit today. Let's go to the News Center where OU Knightley's Kelly Morose has more on that and other headlines from around the world. Thanks, Erin. I'm at the 10th anniversary of Gaylord College. The first 50 students in the door tonight will receive free t-shirts, and they're about to start raffle prizes in a bit. Gaylord College Dean Joe Foote will be speaking at 5. And I'm actually here with Dean Joe Foote right now. Dean Foote, it's been a great 10 years thus far. What do you see for Gaylord College in the next 10 years? Well, wonderful. They're great programs, and I can't wait to see how they pan out in the future. Thank you. High School Musical came to life in a North Texas high school yesterday. You're looking at what students from Martin High School in Arlington hope will be the world's largest lip-synced music video. All 3,400 students were featured in the 11-minute lip dub, which includes three songs. The District Director of Guidance and Counseling says after an experience like this, students will be more likely to support each other. Jackie Clues sits down with OU political science professor Tyler Johnson to break down the outcome of Tuesday's elections. Well, never underestimate the unpredictability of Oklahoma weather. Since 1950, there has been an average of about two tornadoes in Oklahoma in October, but there were 27 tornadoes in October 1998 and 19 in October 2001. Chinook, tell us a little more about the possibility of a tornado. I know, I'm really anxious to see the leaves change, but I love these warm temperatures. Chinook, what do you have with weather? Well, I always buy an OU homecoming t-shirt, and they're always long sleeve, but I don't think I'm going to be able to wear a long sleeve shirt to this game. Maybe towards the end of the game it might be a little bit cooler, but okay. you know what, I wouldn't bring it. And later, dog waste is producing a shining light to help the environment. Stay tuned. They'll be discussing ways you can help the local economy during the holiday season. And while November weather is predictably cool and rainy, for some OU males, the facial forecast is predictably partly and mostly hairy. OU Nightly's Gregory Goldberg tells us the November beards are more than just a fashion statement. If you want more information on No Shave November, it has its own website. There you can find the official rules and even a list of style suggestions for December when the beards are fully grown. Project Afghan 101 is on the road. Seven advanced multimedia students, along with Gaylord College journalism professor John Smeltzer, took off early this morning, headed to Fort Campbell, Kentucky. The group will be interviewing families and developing stories about the stateside life of those serving with the 101st Airborne Division in Afghanistan. And just a quick reminder, you can always find more Oklahoma news as well as background stories and in-depth reporting at our sister organization, Roots. Roots is a student journalism webzine produced here at Gaylord College. The current issue focuses on Muslims in Oklahoma, but you'll find much more than that when you visit roots.ou.edu. Again, that's roots.ou.edu.